Welcome back to Mastering Maven. Today we're going to be covering the Follow Me and Track Me. We interrupt this program for a special news bulletin. I started making these videos because I love the app and what it added to my drone flying experience. Recently, the developer reached out to me and offered me the chance to give away 10 licenses for the Maven app. Watch until the end of the video and I'll explain how you can win one of 10 copies. Now let's get back to Track Me and Follow Me. Welcome back to Mastering Maven. Today we're going to be going over the track and follow. And what's the difference? So to start off, I'm going to go into the settings. And I am going to turn on show user location. And I'm going to turn on the automatic update home point. Set that to 50 meters. What that's going to do is as I move, as the drone is tracking me, it's going to automatically update the home point every time I move 50 meters. So let's start the drone recording. Let's get it up in the air. Let's raise it up. Now I've done a pre-safety flight to see what the highest uh, obstacle is in this area. So I'm going to take the drone up to 90 feet. I'm going to move it back. I'm going to start the drone back behind me. Move it back about, let's go back about 150 feet. I'm going to tap the three dots. I'm going to turn on the co-pilot. It defaults to focus on a point of interest. I'm going to have it focus on me. And I'm going to turn follow on, which automatically turns on the altitude follow and the yaw lock. I'm going to turn on the gimbal control. See these two controls show up over on the right hand side. One is a plus and minus that allows you to adjust your altitude. The altitude of track follows off the, the barometric pressure in your phone. The other button, the, the three bars, shows where, where the drone is going to try and position you in the frame. So it's set to center. I'm going to move it to lower third. And let's see how this drone does following me on a motorcycle. Put my helmet on. And off we go. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it relatively slow. recording the audio on this with a GoPro Hero 9 without an external microphone and screen recording on my iPhone. At this point, the wind and motorcycle noise exceeded their capabilities, so from this point on, I'll be doing voiceover to explain what's happening. As I crossed over the bridge, I brought my speed up to about 20 miles an hour, and the drone had no problem keeping up through this entire section.
slowed down going around the curve down to about 15 miles an hour. And then as I got into the straightaway, I brought it up to 25. And the drone kept up with no problem, keeping me in frame pretty much the entire time. I kept the drone in normal mode to keep the anti-collision sensors on. And I'm sure if I had moved to sport mode, I would have been able to take the bike even faster. At this point, I stopped and turned around and headed back to the bridge. Again, I'm going about 25 miles an hour through here, and the drone is keeping up with no problem keeping me in frame. So that has been the Maven app follow me feature. Overall, I was very impressed with its ability to keep me in frame as we moved along. All right, that was track me, and now let's try follow me, and I'll explain what the difference between track me and follow me is. Get the controller back on there. Let's start the drone recording. Tap the three dots again, turn on the co-pilot, switch the focus from point of interest to me. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the drone up in the air. I'm going to raise it up to about 50 feet. And I'm going to pull the drone back away from me, get it about 70 feet away. Turn on track me, which automatically turns on the yaw control and the altitude follow. And I'll turn on the gimbal control. Again, you can see the controls on the right with the lower third or middle. I've got it set to middle, and I can adjust my altitude with the plus and minus. a circle appears around the controller that's the blue dot and using the right stick i can start the drone to orbit around me until i get it into the position i want to maintain while i'm doing the track me using the stick you can control the speed and direction of the orbit Let's pick a position here and then turn the stick the other way, slow it down, and stop it at the position I want it to maintain. Now let's get on the move and let's see how it does with track me. As I start out here, you notice the phone GPS status in the lower right-hand corner turns yellow and then red, and I get a poor GPS position notification. The drone's still trying to keep up with me, but with a poor GPS position, it doesn't quite know where I am. This is a problem with the phone, not the app. 
So I continue to get the poor GPS position, and then I get a GPS position too poor, and I lose the track me. When I was doing this, I didn't notice that until I was down the road a minute. So as I take off from this intersection here, the drone is still focused on me, but it's not moving because, again, you notice the track me is turned off. Once I realize that and turn the track me back on, it starts moving in. Now I can use the stick to move the relative distance and altitude. So my altitude is 51 feet. Raise it up a little bit there. And as I move the stick in, my track distance starts decreasing to bring the drone in a little closer to me. I get it in a little closer and start moving again. You can see the drone is now going to try and maintain that position, which is kind of behind me and to my left. And as I start moving, it does a pretty good job of keeping up. Now, at this point, I stopped, and I'm going to reposition the drone relative to my location. Start an orbit here and move the position of the drone. Here, I'll stop the orbit at a parallel position. Start moving, and the drone is keeping me running parallel to me, facing me, and maintains that position. I'm going 15 miles an hour, and the drone is having no problem keeping up with me. Bring it up to 20 miles an hour and again the drone moving sideways parallel to me is keeping me in frame pretty well i'm up 25 miles an hour and it's still maintaining that relative position At this point, I'm going 30 miles an hour, and the drone is still keeping up. Slow back down to 20. Now I'm going to move the drone in a little bit closer and drop my relative altitude down to about 25 feet. What I didn't notice at that point is that I had started a rotation about one meter per second. You notice as I'm moving along, the drone is changing its position relative to me and is orbiting around to the right. But still maintaining me in center frame as it moves around.
Notice as I stop here, I get a yellow phone GPS status. The drone still has 16 satellites, but the phone itself loses connection. I get a poor GPS position. One of the things that you want to watch out for if you're using TrackMe is make sure your phone has a good connection. All right, that has been the Maven Pilot Track Me and Follow Me features. Overall, I'm very happy with its ability to maintain connection, even in some adverse conditions. Remember to make sure that your phone has a good GPS position if you're doing any distance. And now, as promised, if you'd like to win one of 10 copies of the Maven Pilot app, all you need to do is comment in this video, hashtag MavenPilot. While I'd appreciate a subscription, a subscription is not required. And on the 18th of May, 2022, I will randomly select 10 winners from the comments. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.